What's up, guys? My name is Woke. I'm an artist from Connecticut, and I am so excited because it is my favorite time of year in New England, fall. That's right. Halloween is just around the corner, and I want to paint something that screams Halloween. Ugh, what am I going to paint? Wait a second. Hmm. I got it. I've always been a fan of Tim Burton's characters from Nightmare Before Christmas, and I think it'd be really interesting to see how I would draw Lock, Shock, and Barrel specifically and put them on a wall. So that's what I'm going to do. I decided to do this piece on my backyard wall. I'll leave a link in the description leading to a video of how I made this wall and the first piece I ever did on this wall. Because this was in my backyard, I thought it would be just easiest to project, so that's what I did. Before projecting, I of course made a sketch of what I was going to put on the wall. As always, I did this on my iPad in a program called Procreate. And once everything was mapped in, it was time to start painting. So everything is mapped out behind me. Um, there are some things I want to tweak, but before I get started on that, the first thing that has to get done is the background. So I'm going to do the background first, and then we're going to start on the graffiti and the characters. I think I'm done with the background for now, so I can start with the graffiti letters. I'm gonna do the fill. Um, I'm gonna save the line work to uh, wait till I do some of the characters so that I can kind of go back and forth at the same time. Um, so yeah, I got kind of a weird idea for the fill. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's just paint, we can always go over it. And if I screw up, um, it's not a mistake, it's just more content. So let's see what happens. I know I said I wasn't gonna do the outline yet, but I think I need to just to see how the fill is gonna work with the outline before I go further, because I, I don't know if I like it at this point. So it's only paint, I can always paint over it. I'm gonna see what I think when I do a little bit of line work. I don't know if I like it, um, I feel like I'm wasting paint and I guess this is part of the process, but it is very frustrating. So I'm, I 
I'm gonna move on and see what I can do with the A. Still frustrated, still feel like I'm wasting paint. So I think I'm gonna try working on this character and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, I think I might call it quits. You'll notice here I did a little reshaping and rearranging with the face. I just was not happy with my original sketch. So just rearrange it a little bit at the wall. It's growing on me a little bit, but I'm exhausted. So that's it for today. I'm going to pick it back up tomorrow. I'm all done with the wall. It's all wrapped up. I'm about to show you guys, but before I do, I just want to tell you to stick around because afterwards I do have a special announcement. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed the wall. And if you did enjoy the wall, I have great news. I went and got prints made of the wall. They're 11 by 17. They don't come framed, but I do offer worldwide shipping. So if you'd like to get one, you can head on over to my website, kbuart.com, and find them there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.